What's going on guys, Stelios Crudis here. This episode of Game Days will be a little bit different just because I'm gonna kinda go through the behind the scenes of my process of making these vlogs and making these videos. I filmed this a while back and I thought I did a pretty bad job of explaining it while I was filming it. So I'm just gonna kinda hop in throughout the video and just kinda show you guys the reality of filming and making these videos, so. And then at the end of the highlights, I'm gonna explain kinda my workflow and how I go about putting the video together and editing and all that kinda stuff, so. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how I do everything because there is a lot of information, but I'm just gonna kinda explain my process and hopefully you guys enjoy, so. Let's hop into the video. What's going on guys, Stelios Crudis here. Back with another episode of Game Day. Today is gonna be a little bit different of an episode because I'm gonna try to switch things up a bit and show you guys kind of behind the scenes of how I make these videos. Just wanna start off by saying I'm a sophomore here at Villanova University. I'm an attackman. I'm currently out for the season though with an ACL injury. I'm doing a lot of video stuff for my YouTube channel and I actually also have an internship with the school that I've been helping out with this semester. So I haven't actually been playing, but I've been busy on the video side and helping out with social media stuff. God, I'm like crying. Whew, it's cold out today. So yeah, now we got a game against Drexel today, so I'll take you guys along. We have a team breakfast right now, so let's get this day started. Alright, quick segment of Riddle Me This. Riddle Me It. Okay, this one comes from Oliver Orr. Three doctors said that Bill was their brother. Bill says he has no brothers. How many brothers does Bill actually have? So Bill has no brothers. Why though? Because he says he has no brothers. <laughs> it's because the, the three doctors are his sisters. Uh, oh, so how many brothers does he have? none. No, because they're said yeah, I know, but like the reasoning is because there's yes, three sisters. Leave more down below. <laughs> Some easier ones, and make sure to leave the answer so I know it. But <laughs> shout out to Oliver. <laughs> Dude, this guy's hair. Whoa! Nah, I think it's like you go for. Oh, let's go. Let's lose it. Okay, so stopping here real quick. In these kind of scenarios when we're just kind of eating lunch or breakfast, I just kind of have my camera ready on the side in case anything happens, but I don't want to force content, so I just kind of have my camera ready at all times to capture any moments and just see people's reactions and ask people questions and stuff like that, so. I just try to have uh, some type of idea in my head of how I want to drive the video and make kind of a storyline and just kind of get the whole process of the day of what I do to get ready for a game. All right, so I've got all my camera stuff ready right now. Got a long lens in here in my camera bag. I'm gonna get that together. And I got a tripod here. I just gotta make sure all my gear's ready to go. Um, gotta lug everything onto the bus. And then we're gonna head over to Drexel. Or actually, we're going to St. Joe's today, but we're playing Drexel. <laughs> what did you say to me? No, dude. I let Copes use my cup and he lost it. Come on, Copes. Oh, oh, hey, Yo, dude, are these Air Force Ones, man? <laughs> what up, Burke? Fisher, how we feeling? First time to go. Oh, what's up? <laughs> what's up? JT over here watching TikToks. Hey, look who it is. Fueling up for the big game. Where'd you get the toothpick from? Fraser, don't tell him I stole it. <laughs> Wants to do best, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So the team's about to come out to get warmed up. So I'm going down there to set up my tripod now, set up the big lens, and then get ready to film warm-ups. It's kind of the same routine I do for every game, so take you guys through it. Okay, so here's kind of when I get ready to film for highlights. So I usually set up a tripod, I have a zoom lens. In this case, I was using my school zoom lens, which is 100 to 400 millimeter. So it can get really close shots um, from far away, which is always nice. And I usually just set that up and then I have like a 24 to 70 millimeter, which is a little bit closer for all my vlogging and handheld stuff. Um, whether I'm shooting warm ups or just vlogging, I use this smaller lens, which I'm filming with right now. And then for the good highlights, I use the zoom lens. So one thing I can emphasize as the toughest thing about filming lacrosse, especially D1, is that 
everything is so fast paced in the beginning at least so with warm ups and everything I gotta make sure everything's timed up right definitely becomes difficult trying to keep up with everything that's going on but now I kind of figured out a schedule and what to film and how to get certain shots and stuff like that Okay, so here's when I kind of messed up what I was trying to explain. Timing everything up and getting the shots I want in a short amount of time is what I mean here. Being able to run around the field quickly, get certain shots uh, before warm-ups is over is kind of a challenge because you want to get certain shots, but then you can't like force people to do certain things. So you kind of just have to work with what you got in a short amount of time. Once I get done with warm-ups, I usually switch over to the other lens and then start filming highlights. So, yeah. I don't want to fall for you, oh no. But you make it so hard Watching you dance all night, baby It's making me fall hard Trying to Yo, take a deep breath Every three beat, every possession comes up white Let's get after your BTA beat Yo, get the three, two, two, two I am a cold sweat But I just keep on talking then What's up, Nikki? Ready for game time? Let's go. Beautiful day out, huh? Love it. All right, so the guys just went inside to get dressed. I'm going to get one shot of them coming out in the uniforms, and then I just kind of get straight into the long lens and get some, uh, some game footage. So wait for the guys to come out, and we'll get it going. Okay, so I know kind of the routine of the games now. So the team usually goes inside after warm-up, so I have some time to set up. And then I like to get a shot of the team running out, and then kind of pre-game stuff, pre-game speeches, huddle breakdown, stuff like that. After that, I quickly run over to my tripod, switch on to the big lens, and then start filming highlights. And one of the biggest things I notice while filming highlights is it's tough to follow the ball, especially because lacrosse is such a fast sport. The more you practice it, the more you do it, the easier it gets. Um, if that's something you want to do, make sure you just get out and start practicing, and Charge you. Okay, so as you guys saw here, ended up losing the game. I uh, kind of just didn't really want to film after this one because it was a tough loss. But once I'm done filming for the day, I have a ton of footage to go through. So when I go back to my laptop, I pretty much put all the footage onto my hard drive. My workflow is I kind of just load everything into the timeline and then I pretty much just start chopping everything up. In my case, I use Final Cut Pro 10 to edit my videos. I also shoot on a Sony a7 III if you guys are wondering, but I take out all the footage that I really feel like I won't use. I kind of just chop everything up and shorten it to its bare bone minimum of 
footage, basically. Once I have everything kind of condensed, I start adding some music. I usually do a lot of background music, and let me tell you, finding music is the longest part of editing, in my opinion, unless you kind of have an idea of what you want to use in the back of your head or have songs already downloaded, but this is usually for the, the vlog stuff. I just put in some background music and it's not too hard, but when it comes to like the highlights, I have to find a pretty good upbeat song, and then I kind of start to speed ramp things, and if you don't know what speed ramping is, it's when it kind of goes from fast motion to slow motion, and I usually just use the beats of the song to time things up and make things look nice. And then once I kind of figure out all the music stuff and timing and everything, uh, I start to do some more accessory stuff, whether it's transitions, and I start to add some sound effects. Uh, so in this case, when you see people score, I make sure I put in the audio of like people cheering and stuff like that. So that takes a little bit of time. And then I usually add some titles, like in the beginning where it says game day. I put all that stuff in kind of at the end. And I really just kind of tidy everything up towards the end of the video when I feel like it starts to look nice. And it's just a really long process. I think a lot of people don't understand how long it takes to film these videos, go through all the footage, upload it, render it, post it, all that kind of stuff. It's a really long process, but I do enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's very satisfying when you go through a lot of footage and you condense it all down into a finalized version. I really hope I kind of covered my workflow through editing. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stellarish or comment down below. We can have kind of a conversation of how I edit these videos and if you guys do want to see a more in-depth video of how I edit my videos I can definitely do that just comment down below if you want to see that these videos take a lot of work to make and I hope you guys do enjoy them so please leave a like down below and make sure to subscribe and that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed sorry if it was a little long-winded of me explaining my process but a lot of you guys are interested so I figured I'd make a video about it that's all I got for you guys today make sure to like comment subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one